Hi, yes, hello, and welcome to the very ass. What? <laughs> Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to the very last upload for this Hello Beans, which just so happens to actually land on Halloween this year. Unless you're a patron, then this went up a day early, but regardless, happy Halloween! Uh, I can't believe another Hello Beans has come and gone. I know I'm not in costume. I couldn't think of something that was easy to do, quick to do, that I could do while moving and doing Hello Beans. So I'll make it up somehow. I don't know how. Before we get started, you know we have to complete our Hocus Pocus Halloween Advent Calendar, the 13 Frights of Halloween. I am really bad at counting, so we got two more to do, which is number 12 and number 13, which is Mary. So let's see what number 12 is, because this is a very small square. Oh, this is cute. This is Broom Squad on it. Very cute, putting it on my backpack right now. 30 seconds for me to do this. So let's do 13, which is Mary on her vacuum. I love that for us. <gasps> oh! Purple card holder that says, I put a spell on you. I love it. It's one of those you put on the back of your phone and your cards go in there. Oh my God. Well, y'all, that concludes our 13 frights of Halloween. Hocus Pocus advent calendar. Uh, I hit myself in the face. Fun. I still have not watched Hocus Pocus 2, by the way. Who am I? We don't know. All right. So with Halloween... Falling on a Monday, and Monday being night vision, I posted on Patreon. I was like, I want to be terrified. I want to be scarred, traumatized. Like, I want to be scared. And it was, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. For the longest time, it was neck and neck between Cabin in the Woods and Event Horizon. And the more comments I read about Cabin in the Woods, the more people were like, she should watch more recent scary movies to understand everything. People were saying it was more of a comedy. And then Event Horizon, people were like, it's messing me up. You know, it messed me up. That movie was crazy. We're watching Event Horizon. Cabin in the Woods will probably be, I told patrons this, uh, that I'll start sprinkling throughout the year on polls. I'll start sprinkling more scary movies into polls throughout the year. But Night Vision and watching it in complete and total darkness is always going to be a Halloween's exclusive. So if you were a fan of Cabin in the Woods, don't worry, it will be on polls in the future so we can watch it on the channel together. But as for today, as for Halloween 2022, we are watching 1997 Event Horizon. So one more thing, Hello Beans merch. Uh, you have about one more week. I usually give you a week post October to get your hands on the Hello Beans merch before it goes away. And um, yeah, okay, so I still don't have internet at this house. So I don't know who's gonna be in it. I don't know what kind of scary this is, Event Horizon. Does that mean there's a big something coming up? You know, there's a big event on the horizon. They see something coming their way. That's the best guess I got. So, no more diddle dallying. Let's turn off these lights and turn on Event Horizon for this Millennial Movie Monday, which also happens to be Halloween. music right now. I'm in it though. Okay, none of these names sound familiar yet, but that doesn't mean I don't know them. Maybe I'll recognize somebody. Oh, <laughs> y'all got that way wrong. Oh, the Mars is still possible though. Okay, I didn't know it was gonna be sci-fi. Okay, I need to know in the comments. If you saw this in 1997 and 2047 felt like such a long way off, and now you're watching this now, how does it feel? Because now it's like not that far away, you know? Listen, I love space and planets and stuff, but if I think about it too much, I'll get freaked out. <laughs> oh, buddy. Well, that was ominous. Wow. Is she dead? Is that what that box was? Was that like ashes? Let me tell you something. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Let me tell you something. Them razors scare me. One slip. Done. 
Y'all wanna know something? The Blair Witch Project did not make me motion sick, but if we keep spinning around like this, I might throw up today. Heading. Mission top secret. I bet it's to find that missing vessel. I mean, Mars has got women. That's right. Your ship has a woman. And if the shit goes down, we'll be on our own. You know the rules, people. Hey! That's Guy! From The Matrix! The Sunglass Man. What it is? Yes, sir. Locked and cocked and ready to rock. Mr. J Locked and cocked and ready to rock. Justin, get those tanks prepped. Yes, sir. How you do that? How you slide down a ladder like that? When the iron drive fires. Oh. Ah. Without a tank, ah. the force would liquefy your skeleton. Once again, space is scary! Claustrophobic. Very. Mm. Unfortunate place to be in for you, my guy. Oh, we will not be whispering in these tiny tanks, I tell you that. Is this, is this happening for real or is he dreaming? Because dude said it could liquefy, liquefy your skeleton. So you're taking a big risk, homie. Not a single hair on that man. <laughs> ah! So cold. Nope. 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 <laughs> oh my god! Okay, Alright. Three. DJ! <gasps> You okay, Doc? Does he look like it? Why was she missing eyes? He's gonna take Denny for Christmas. Yes. I'll get him for the summer, so. Aww. I never thought about that. You know the families of astronauts? Okay, I'm the lifesaver and the heartbreaker. He's a this guy! I love him! For sure that you appreciate being here, Doctor, but you must understand that we don't. Wow, okay. The last time you sack attempted a rescue this, well, we lost both ships, so if you please. Okay, so fun time's over. So everybody's just gonna leave because they don't like what they're doing? A rescue mission? They do that. The law of relativity prohibits faster than light travel. Well, that's why we said, that's why he said they were working on it. <laughs> Until the space-time curvature becomes infinitely large and you produce- And this is layman terms? Layman's terms. Oh, well, okay, great, so terms. we're not- <laughs> Okay, so we're all on the same page here. Vanessa, and that's mine. Uh, a attractive piece of paper represents. Listen, be careful. Something tells me the way he just acted, that paper might be a little sticky. Vanished without a trace. So they're lost in time and space. I would not go. I would not go. I would stick with the lie that it blew up. A human voice. Yeah, I hear one too. The one screaming. The rest. Liberate me. Which means. Save me. Oh, well. Neptune has a storm on it? I thought that was Jupiter. Then how's my ship? Smooth sailing! Smooth sailing where? I love how he's just hanging out in a chair that's like suspended, so he's just rocking. Oh shit, oh shit, you were right there this entire time. You better throw that bitch in reverse. Okay, listen, finding this ship is fun and all, but I want to find out why that lady didn't have any eyes. It's not a load-bearing structure. Well? It's now, Doctor. It's bearing some load now. These readings are all over the ship. It doesn't make any sense. So they're all over the ship? Acceptable. I need to be on that ship. Once we've secured the ship... You can wait till it's secure! Oh, 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 hun, hun, hun. Look at him! Little spaceman! So no gravity in the ship. Video Very cold in the clear. ship. Are they just gonna float through the ship? We are crossing the umbilicus, making our approach to the event horizon. I'm so scared. Magnetic boots on. Ooh, smart. Place is a deep breeze. Well, yeah, Stark already told you that. Then you take engineering. Yes, sir. Peters and I'll take the forward deck. Y'all gonna split up? Bad idea. Bad idea. Especially with an odd number of people. Bad idea. Doctor, what are these? Uh, explosive devices. And then the crew can use the Fordex as a lifeboat. I am so stressed. This is giving me alien vibes. You still haven't seen any crew? If we saw any crew, Doctor, you'd know it by now. A simple no would have sufficed. This place is a tomb. That's a crazy tunnel. That makes me dizzy. Like a meat grinder to me. Is that foreshadowing? Is that foreshadowing? I'm scared. I don't like all the flashing lights. It's pretty jammed. What?
that's behind her. What is that? A crispy person? Explosive decompression. You mean to tell me this just body just float around in the ship? Corpsicle. Ooh, what? Corpse sickle. We're not gonna talk about this big spinny thing. That's a gravity drive. Let me tell you something. I would shit a brick. Why has it got all them spikes around it? I don't like it. I don't like this. I feel uneasy here. Okay, where'd the core go? I don't like this black hole. Oh, I would never! Justin, what are you doing? Mm -mm. No thanks, actually. You should not have done that, dude. Okay, well ain't none of this good. Ain't none of it. Can anybody hear me? So now we're all just stuck out in outer space. Oh my guy! I don't want you- I don't want you to go in there! You don't know what's on the other side of that! The the spikes! Y'all, the spikes! Okay, well y'all didn't land on a spike, so that's good. For the event horizon pronto. Why are you so calm? Well, I mean she did say corpsicle, so I'm real worried for Justin. I don't want to see Justin. There's a reason why we haven't seen him yet. No one's coming to help us. But after that, we better be on our way home. 20 hours. Yeah, I don't think you're going to fix that, buddy. Captain Mellon, you copy over. I copy, Mr. Smith. How's my ship? Not doing great. Okay, so doctor knows what happened here, but he won't talk about it. But he's unresponsive to stimuli. Oh, Justin looks pretty normal. I mean, he looks scared shitless, but he still has his eyeballs, so that's good. Mr. Cooper says he saw something. Yeah, and Mr. Cooper don't know how that thing works, so he couldn't just make up some accurate lie. You know what I mean? An optical effect? That's fucking poetic. <laughs> poetic. An artificial black hole. <gasps> so I said it looked was a black hole, and I didn't... Nice. You come down, it's perfectly safe. No, hard pass. Hard pass, buddy. Gateway can't just open by itself. Well, then a ghost did it because it opened. Yo, that's wild. Excuse me, what was that? Is somebody ziplining in the back? What is that noise? DJ, where are you? I'm up on deck four. What and who is in there with her? What? What is that? I'm so scared! I her child? What the fuck is that? Ah! The kid is not there? The next 12 hours outside, another five seconds in this shit can. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Hail and farewell. So, he just spoke Latin. Does that mean the Latin we heard? Didn't like that. Uh, you just lost power, girl. You ain't gonna be cleaning shit up. Him speaking Latin, was he the Latin voice on the recording of the screaming? So all them little twisty things is doors? Oh, I don't like- I don't like this game. Mm, Justin is not doing great. Dark. What does that mean? My guy, you gotta stop trusting these whispers you be hearing. Well, well, I'm not doing good. Billy. I don't like this game. Are you gonna, are you gonna have eyeballs this time, bitch? No! Forever. What the f I don't like this game. And now the juices are bubbling. What does this mean? Nothing good. Doctor, you were in the duct. You must have heard something. Yeah, but what he heard isn't really there. It's real. I felt... I felt heat. So we're all hallucinating. Well, this is exciting. This shit is fucked. Well, thank you. Simply put it, yep. <laughs> Scientific analysis. Whoa, DJ. Hey, DJ, let's put down the scalpel, homie. It ain't gotta be like that, bro. It ain't gotta be like that. We ain't gotta... There you go. We can lose our minds, but we can't lose our shit, you know what I'm saying? 
I've got a theory. Let me hear. What are you telling me? That this ship is alive? You wanted an answer. The ship itself is alive? Hey, Justin. You made it through your seizure. That's good. Oh, where did Justin go? Justin! I don't like this game. I don't like this game anymore. Justin! No! Oh, shit! What? Oh, don't make it dark in here. Don't be dark. No! Shite! What? No. Yeah, if you go crazy in space like you're ass- <laughs> The doctor knew? <laughs> Open the door! Why? Justin. Oh yeah, I forgot Justin's body went missing. Oh, Jesus. Is... Justin, where are you going? Are you... You can't spacewalk without a spacesuit. Justin, buddy, what are you doing? Open the door. I don't want- Don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Okay, I keep waiting for something to be wrong with his face. I won't go back there. You don't have to go back anywhere, Justin. What kind of stuff have you seen, Justin? Well, hold on a second. Didn't they say it was going to turn him inside out? I don't want to see that. Hey, open the door. I can't. How is he mad at them? Did Miller tell them to open the door? They didn't do this. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, well, I don't love this. I don't love this for us. Okay, but what's gonna stop him from going this kind of crazy again? If he's been seeing stuff, you know what I mean? Bleeding out, Dr. Dre. Still dropping. Oh, doctor, are you having some issues with something that you created? Well, I can work on the log on the bridge, but I won't go back to medical. I don't blame you, girl. I wouldn't either. Doctor? Wanna talk about your black hole some more? Don't you walk away from me, mister. Sound like he's a little kid in trouble. Thermal changes in the hull could have caused the metal to- Nah, I don't believe that bullshit right there, uh-uh. Drive creates a gateway. Where did it go? Well then go through it yourself, doctor. There's a lot of things happening around here that I don't fully understand. Oh, well, that's not reassuring. I don't know. I think the doctor knows more than he's willing to talk about. Nah, you know what? I keep going about my business. You know what that sounds like? Sounds like a skinwalker right there. Sounds like a mimic. Mm -mm. It's just dangerous. No! What was that? Shit, done hurt myself. I pulled a muscle. This movie's making me grumpy. <laughs> God help us. Because I'm scared. Four of us made it to the lifeboat, but Korok was still on board the Goliath. Ah, uh, some survivor's guilt. You never told me that. That's just it, DJ. I, I never told anybody. Not really something you talk about a lot. I think I made a mistake in the translation. What does it mean then? Save yourself. And it gets worse. Oh, good. From hell. Who knows where it's been? Justin knows. From hell. So what? Is it a possessed ship now? Demonic ship? Uh, guilty. Yes, sir. Ray, the repressurize the clock and get the hell out of here. Oh, nice. So the clock's gonna be okay. Got it. I just love his little swivel chair. That's so much fun. Well, let me see. What? Exit face. They ate each other? We're leaving. Yeah. GTF, motherfucker. Oh. We came here to do a job. We're aborting, Doctor. Doctor, if you want to stay, why don't you stay? I have no intention of leaving. So were they just eating each other? And then he had eyeballs in his hands? Satisfied she's vaporized. Fuck this ship. <laughs> oh, no. Nothing good happens when the lights are acting weird. I am home. What? What? Oh, girl, get out, get out, get out. Girl, what are you doing? Girl, no! Girl, go home to your son for realsies! Oh, no. The 
this makes me so sad for her. I'm so scared. Because I don't know what's going to happen next, but I'm scared. scares me every time we see her. Please don't. Nike? Oh my god, okay. So... Okay, well. It's alright. I don't want to see you again. <gasps> Titties, but now is not the time. I hate this! <laughs> so he's gouging his own eyes out. Look, you can kiss my ass, Smith, because I'm done. <laughs> No, I'll let him do it. Let him do it. You know what? I'd let him go. I'd let him go. He took one of the explosives? One of the explosives is missing from the car. He's gonna blow up Lewis and Clark! It's like we're sacrificing lives to the ship! blonde-headed lady. There's three. There's three people left. I think the blonde-headed lady is on this ship. She could be dead, too. I don't know. We haven't seen her in a while. You know what? At this point, what do you have left to lose, Miller? Like, go in the black hole. Where the fuck am I going? Why is this shit gonna happen to me? <laughs> I'm sorry, Cooper. Yes. Here I come, motherfucker! <laughs> okay, you know what? It works. It works. Just make sure you get back to the ship. I'll take care of him. Oh, DJ's been waiting for this moment. Oh my god! Ooh, what? Yo, what? No, no, no. I don't like, no, no. You just, you just play an operation? Okay, Dr. Weir. What the? Okay, Captain Miller, but how will you get home? Like, let's say you kill the doctor. How will you get home? Next hell of beans, I'm gonna invest in a heart monitor because I am so stressed. Go check what that big gravity core shit is. I bet that's where he's at anyway. Oh, hey, she's here. What in the world do you smell that makes you react like that? Like, I've had some rough farts, but I ain't never reacted like that. Oh my god, his gun is gone. Hey, buddy. He gouged him out and then sewed him back up! Yo, look at his face. That's wild. That's big wild. What do you think you're doing, Doctor? We're going to the other dimension! Oh, that was, well, it was smart for a second. Oh, come on now! Oh, he didn't get hit, he didn't get hit. I was just about to say, Cooper didn't make it all that way just to get shot. Y'all are gonna die now, and you're not going to that other dimension. Okay, well, the crazy doc- Oh, well, there he is. I would just accept my fate and I would let go. There's no saving you in this, in this thing. Oh, hey, Sark. Hey, buddy. A lot's happening. A lot's happening. Miller, I know you said you didn't want to lose another person. You'd have to go back and, and save them. But, like, what if it chops off your hand, Miller? You gonna have half of a body and get through that door! Okay, so it worked, and that's great. Love that for them. Don't hit me! Cooper! Cooper! Hey, buddy! The four decks is a lifeboat. <sighs> Do it. Do it, let's go. See Beacon, you get back here. Dude, quick. even if it doesn't work, the fuck else you gonna do right now? What? Nope, 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 no thank you. Who, why? I was gonna say the brother gonna come down, boo. Okay, well they ain't there to answer. They ain't there to answer. Oh shit, that's why he saw the dude on fire. Now it makes sense. He's being chased to the gravity core? Oh, you could not have ended up in a worse spot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see how you're f You see how you're f Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? Hell is only a word. Show me then! Just extreme torture of his men? Wow. 
I really thought he was winning for a second. I really thought. So Captain Miller's not going to be safe, but Stark and, and Cooper are, maybe? Yep, there they are. Well, y'all get knocked unconscious or are you good? Aw, oh, damn, your gravity thingy made Neptune a black hole, damn it. Oh, never mind. Neptune was just hungry. Watching the wreckage of the event horizon. Oh, y'all ain't gonna believe this shit. There appear to be three survivors. Three? Justin. Justin. I forgot that Justin was on the ship. <laughs> and y'all just fall out of these wet tanks, half naked. Fine, they're with us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How'd this movie go make me grumpy? <laughs> This music sounds like some music you'd have, like, in the background of ATV Off-Road Fury, which was a PlayStation 2 game I had. And, okay, let's talk about it. Let I'm making this face because I finished filming Event Horizon, like, 30 minutes ago, but I was so shaken that, like, I've been on TikTok and doing Disney sing-alongs. So there's that, in case you wanted to know how bad this movie messed me up. Yo, my knee pits are sweating. Boy, howdy. Listen, I, of course, have never seen Cabin in the Woods. I don't, if it wasn't this movie, like, I don't know what could have scared me this bad unless I watched, like, the remade It, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, I never would have thought that this movie was going to be a sci-fi possession. A, a sci-fi demon possession of a ship. I never thought it was going to be aliens meets demons. <sighs> also, I'm, oh. Another reason to get Hello Beans merch, apparently, you don't show your church worship. You don't show sweat that bad. Anyways, okay, Event Horizon really got me. I I personally feel like this was a great little wrap up to Hello Beans because it got me good. Like I have a little bit of a headache because I've been screaming so much, um, and then I had to take a nice little feel good break. So with that being said, so for my scary movies in order. Number one, Event Horizon. Tied for second, you got Scream 2 and Friday the 13th. At third, there's seven. Then Evil Dead 2, The Ring, oh, yeah, The Ring. And then From Dusk Till Dawn, tied with Tucker and Dale. Army of Darkness and The Blair Witch Project really wrapped up last place for that. On Wednesdays, The Lighthearted Upload, Little Shop of Horrors takes first place. Musical, Rick Moranis, like, stop. Bill Murray, Steve Martin, stop. You know what? And in my review of Monster Squad, I said that it was going to take second place above Ghostbusters. But now it's a different day and I'm a different person and I would like to recant that statement because I, if I was given the choice between watching Monster Squad again or Ghostbusters 2, I would watch Ghostbusters 2 again. So in second place is Ghostbusters 2, in third place is Monster Squad, and in last place is The Witches. But The Witches was so good. I feel like little kid Ashley, if she would have watched The Witches, scared shitless, y'all. Like, ain't no worry about it. Grown Ashley, it was a great movie. I actually rewatched the movie with Blake because he had seen the movie before. And so, like, we just rewatched it together. And so, like, it's just a good movie. Angelica Houston, come on. It's, it took last place not because it was bad, just because as I kept watching it. I mean, Steve Martin, Rick Moranis, Bill Murray, come on. Come on! The Monster Squad was cute. It was definitely more of a feel-good movie than The Witches because, again, if little kid Ashley had watched The Witches, she would have been scared. Also, I think if I would have watched The Witches in Night Vision, I think I would have been scared a little bit as a grown woman. So, so that concludes Hallow Beans. Don't forget the merch. Don't forget the Hallow Beans giveaway. In this moment, uh, movie watching Ashley doesn't know when she'll be announcing the Hallow Beans winners, but keep a lookout on social media, which links down below, because I'm sure I'll be announcing, like, movie watching Ashley hasn't planned that far ahead, okay? Listen, we're all the same person, but we're all running on different timelines, so do with that what you will. But Event Horizon gets five out of five stars for me. Oh my god, the doctor at the end when he was, like, the demon-possessed man and he had all them cuts? Stop. Even Horizon was a good movie. Now I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. Movie watching Ashley since she's traveling, since I'm traveling back and forth between Knoxville and Nashville because my studio set up for Hallow Beans, I'm actually, as soon as I turn off this camera, the very first upload for November, the very first Millennial Movie member request, <sighs> Infinity War. I know you guys are, I'm about to put on a different shirt. Maybe, if they're in here. Uh, maybe I'm not gonna do that. Uh, maybe I took those shirts home with me. I'm fixing to keep this shirt on and I'm fixing to watch Infinity War. 
If you weren't in the last live, Infinity War is going to be split up into two uploads, honestly, to give me a couple of days off after Halloween's for me to just be a little recluse and get under the blanket. So, Friday is going to be the first half of Infinity War. Monday is going to be the second half of Infinity War. Next, the next Friday is a request from 1000th Ghost, and it is going to be Sister Act. So, like, subscribe, stick around. Don't forget to enter the Halloween's giveaway. Uh, links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeverse. And I'll see you right back here on Friday for Infinity War. Bye!